Hey, so I hope you're having a great day um, or evening. It's evening where I'm at, but um, but yeah, I thought I would uh, show you, um, as I mentioned earlier in the week, um, some uh, fabrics that I am using for uh, some uh, future costuming um, endeavors, some future costuming projects. And uh, yeah, these are a couple of my favorites that I picked up uh, from some really awesome settlers at some 18th century events. And actually one of them I did not, it's not an 18th century pattern, but I still think it's cool and I'm planning to make something uh, really cool with it. But um, but yeah, uh, just a quick little recap of my day. I actually, I um, had uh, physical therapy today and that usually, like for my ankle, and that usually takes a lot out of me. Like I usually, <laughs> after I come home, I have to, hydrate and take a nap basically uh, so but uh but yeah but overall a uh, pretty good day um and yeah so i'm just gonna flip this around here and uh give you a look at some of my fabrics so all right so here are some of the uh fabrics that um are some of my favorite purchases. I got this one. This is actually inspired um, by an original 18th century uh, pattern and um, it's a uh, Penny River Costumes. I believe she said her sister actually um, helped design this based off of a um, an, 18, an actual 18th century uh, pattern. Um, but yeah, but I'm planning on making a kind of like a jacket or an 18th century short gown or um, 18, no, there's not enough fabric here for an 18th century long gown, but, um, but yeah, uh, making something of a jacket, I think that would be really cool. Um, a lot of the time, uh, printed fabrics are typically uh, used for um, things like, like top pieces, whereas petticoats bottom pieces are typically solids sometimes um vertical stripes but uh but yeah but usually these would be used for tops so and this is another cool piece i got um i believe i got this this i got um i believe at um bushy runs event bushy run battlefields um event that they always have in august i believe that's where i got this from um, and then I got this, uh, from Fort Frederick, which is coming up in April. And I am definitely hoping to day trip it up there. Um, unfortunately, um, my ankle won't be, I, I won't, with my ankle, I won't be in the shape to like put up an 18th century encampment tent and actually camp there. But I'm hoping to, uh, maybe, get up there for at least one day so yeah but this um planning on making another top you know a uh, top piece with this is really cool um I got this a couple of years ago I think it's it was by um 90 uh, district 99 fabrics I think so they're going by a different name now and I can't think of it off the top of my head but um but that's where I got this guy from and then this this is my favorite. I got this from Burnley and Trowbridge. I uh, definitely got a lot of this fabric because I might make a long gown out of it. Yes. Look at how gorgeous that is. But, um, but yeah, but this is also based off of um, an authentic um, 18th century print. And uh, this here, um, I'm actually starting to make smaller pieces with it. Um, I have a like a sewing bag here that I'm making um, and a cravat here or a neckerchief um, because this was like, it, I got it from a 99 district, um, district 99 fabrics. Um, and they only had like less than a yard left. So there wasn't going to be enough to make like, you know, any, like a, like a jacket or a short gown or anything like that. So I just bought it. I'm like, cool. I'll just make some little projects. 
And this, last but not least, obviously not 18th century. I got it from Joanne Fabrics. <laughs> but um, but I was uh, thinking, because I was thinking, um, since I did get some vintage um, 1940s, 1950s patterns, um, I don't know. I think this would make a really cute skirt. What do you think? There you go. So it'll kind of match the hat I'm wearing right now. But um, but yeah, but those are um, some of my uh, favorite uh, fabrics that I'm planning on doing something with uh, this year. And uh, yeah, but uh, my sewing people, um, what sort of projects are you um, are you planning on making? Um, are you making any period pieces? And if so, what era? Or are you making some modern pieces? Like I, you know, maybe more modern pieces like I will be with this one. So uh, maybe not so much modern if it's like mid 20th century, but, but still more modern than these guys right here. So, all right, cool. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed that little fabric vlog and I will see you later. And I'd love to, um, yeah, my sewing people hear about some of your projects. All right. Uh, take care. Have a good night or day wherever you're at. All right. Bye.